about this start to the season. I think we're all we're all really in awe. I, I get in in the locker room after games, and when it comes to the offensive players, especially, you just don't know what to say. Has it struck you guys the kind of start that you're off to? Has it seemed as easy as it has looked, anyway? Um, no game is ever easy. It's always it's always a challenge. Um, everybody's you know in the league, NFL, high caliber athletes, competitors through and through. You know, it's honestly still just a you know a shock that how well we've played. But you know, we know that we're capable of doing that day in and day out. And you're capable of doing it because you maintain that focus you just talked about, that ability to put it all behind you and say, you know what, we got to go get the next one. Yeah, exactly. You know, we're still hungry. Um, you know, last year, the, the Ravens game, you know, we, we forgot about it, but we didn't forget about it. You know, it's still still nagging at us, still eating at us, and, you know, we feel like we have something, something to prove and something to make up for last year. Is that one of those driving forces? I'm glad you brought that up, that Ravens game from last year. That's still that – underlying undertone here for the season that no matter how good it is you still remember what happened in that playoff game last year and you're still motivated because of that exactly you know we we never never lose that motivation because we felt like we we were the better team and felt like we we let that game slip away and we we just have to go out there and make up for it through 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 every single game this season and get to that get to our ultimate goal winning the super bowl how much pride are you feeling for your special teams right now? I mean, you were a guy, when you got drafted, one of the first things they said was big safety, a lot of potential there, but a great special teams player. So you came in, you showed that fairly early on with Josh. But now it's not just you. It's guys like Steven Johnson, obviously. You got Holiday. You got the two kickers. I mean, you guys are really, you may be the most complete special teams unit well, for sure in the league, but you may, you guys may be hitting historical factors here just how much pride are you guys taking in that right now? oh we we have tremendous pride of me being the captain i i i love the guys that we have out there every guy takes their job their position seriously they try to do it to the t they study their opponent they study the guy they're matched up against you know we just take huge pride to go out there and we realize when the play, play comes to us go out there and make that play and steve you know the play came to him and he made the play and made a great big play and uh, just every single game, we've been able to show out some way on special teams where it's it's been a tide. It changes the momentum of the game where, you know, we might be even, and then that's what sparks us. How much pride do you take in a guy like Omar Bolden? I mean, he really is. When when Cole Quick got his contract, he mentioned you. He mentioned Omar Bolden as guys that he felt helped him earn that money. How, because how, it makes him look good with right. those inside the exactly. 20s, right? <laughs> is that a guy that you kind of feel like you've helped along, you've set the example for? Oh, yeah. You know, Omar, he does a great job. He's a competitor through and through. Um, especially there, Gunner beating Vice, beating three guys, going out there just continuously making plays, and especially as a rookie last year, performing at such a high level at a tough special teams position, it just, you know, shows a lot, a lot about his character, his want to, and his hunger. You mentioned being captain, voted captain this year of the special teams. How much did that mean to you that your fellow teammates would vote you? Oh, it meant a lot. Uh, it meant that the, the guys in the locker room trust me. They, they feel like I, I am a leader. They feel like, you know, when things go awry or things going right, I'm going to be that guy who's going to be able to get us back on the, the same page, get us going again, you know, and just be able to run things and keep things in order and just continuously drive that message in the guy's head that we – can and will be the best special teams out there. Are you on every special teams package? Yes. yes every I am. single one of them. Except for field goal. Except for field goal. <laughs> That's probably a good one not to be in <laughs> exactly, on, right? Yes. Yeah, because you'd have to be one of the wing guys yeah. blocking somebody coming around from the corner. Yeah. But you blocked a punt in the first game against the Baltimore Ravens. And since that time, it seems like a lot of teams have identified you on film and said, double number 30, don't let him make a play like that again. Oh, yeah, um, I, I see it a lot. Um, the Raiders game, especially, I had the wing, the tackle, and the PP on me. <laughs> so it was, uh, you know, it's something I'm just going to have to get used to. And But Steve blocking the punt, that takes the pressure off of me, too. Exactly. So now, so now they got two guys to worry about. And then who knows, they worry about us, somebody else is going to scout for these. We got a lot of guys who, when they're put in that position, they will make that well, play. Well, but because they doubled you, it's probably why Steven Johnson was free to block the punt this past weekend against Philly. You know, regardless of how it happened, he blocked it. Scooped it, scored it, held the thing up. He did a great job through, all the way through that play. I read something, or maybe he was interviewed right after the game, where he said he didn't initially think he was going to get there, and he kept going and said, well, I'm there. i got to block it now. <laughs> yeah, that's what he was telling me on the sideline. Like, um, 
I thought one of these guys are supposed to block me. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> Let me put my hand out. And there is an art to block in a punt. Mm -hmm. I mean, coaches teach it exhaustively about the right angle you're supposed to take. Mm -hmm. So if you don't get there in time, you don't rough the punter. Exactly. Talk a little bit about that. You know, it's all about it's all about what side you're on, what leg the, the punter is. Um, if it's a left left footed guy and you're on, say, the right side, you, you will have to come across this block point and you want to make sure you get the ball. Um, one hand, the back of the hand, the forearm, both hands. Um, any way you can get to somebody else's body, however you can block the punt, it, it's, a, it's truly an art. It's all about keeping your eyes on that block point because a lot of guys get there and close their eyes and they don't want to see it, you know. But um, we, we, we ran it. We drilled it a lot during camp. Every, basically every single punt return day we drilled it, and it's definitely paying dividends thus far. All right, we're talking with David Bruton, number 30 from the Denver Broncos. He'll be with us until 8 o'clock. We also have Patricia and Michelle from the Denver Bronco cheerleaders out here. They'll be signing calendars and posters here until 9 o'clock. We're at Arapaho in Yosemite, the Red Robin location here in Greenwood Village. Come on out and see us. This is Bud Light Broncos primetime. How would you like to spend the weekend before Christmas in Houston, Texas, watching the Broncos play the Texans? Yeah, boy. How would you like to do it with all your travel, lodging, and tickets paid for? Well, you can when you purchase a limited edition $25 Denver Broncos Red Robin gift card, and you will be entered to win this grand uh, prize trip and much more. We have the gift cards up here at the table with us. Is that you? Can uh, you tell? I don't know if you've seen the back of your head much, but yeah. would you say that's you? <laughs> that's not me. Yeah. No? That's not me. That's, uh, I think that's a five right there. I don't think that's me. And I said it was too short anyway. <laughs> that's too bad. We were going to run with that the whole thing. <laughs> All right. Well, come on and get Whoever that is, anyway, come here, come pick up your Red Robin gift card, and you'll be entered to win that great prize. This is Bud Light Broncos Primetime. We'll be right back on E50 KOA.